Welcome back everyone for another Promax Platform Workflow Tip. I'm very excited about today's video where we get to look at adding third-party storage to Platform. Now to start, it's really important to acknowledge that not all storage solutions are created equal. The storage group configured on your Platform server is a high-performance RAID built and configured to handle the specific workflows it needs to support. This is something you'll want to take into consideration when adding another array and determining how many streams or clients it is capable of supporting. This feature speaks to the flexibility of platform, something like 8 or 16 gig fiber, 12 gig SAS, or a high-end Thunderbolt solution that could be easily added to the platform online for production. Or maybe you have an older, slower storage solution, something like 4 gig fiber or 3 gig SAS that could be utilized with our nearline model. Along with all our other general purpose I.O. support for all models of platform, so no matter what, if you have legacy storage, it doesn't go to waste with platform. So let's look at an example. There is a growing production company doing most of their HD work on an 8 gig fiber channel array. The array itself is capable of supporting 4K workflows. In a scramble to be more productive, they had resorted to sharing the array over the main network to other users. Anyone who has tried this knows the problems and pitfalls with this configuration. And let's look at how we solve this problem with Platform. By simply moving the fiber channel card from the workstation to the Platform server, the array is now available to Platform. Then, each client gets its own dedicated, managed connection to the Platform server, and all the existing content is ready to edit with right now. Let's look at going through the steps of adding the array on the server, and then importing the directories as Platform spaces with our easy-to-use web interface. We'll get the fiber channel drivers to start. After the fiber channel card is all good to go, we'll go ahead and import the existing volume. The volume is named Fiber RAID and has a drive letter of G. That's all we have to do on the server itself. Everything else is done through the web UI. For these changes, you'll need to log in as admin. Once inside, you see the Fiber RAID tab under Platform Spaces. Now all you have to do is add the existing platform space. Just specify the size and hit Add. Then go ahead and do that for all the other spaces. And just like that, you've done it and your existing content is ready to edit. To summarize, you've taken your existing direct attached storage, previously connected to your workstation, and connected that directly to the platform server. You added the fiber channel drivers and mounted the volume. Then you imported those existing directories off the volume into Platform as Platform Spaces. And that's it! Thank you for joining us for this Promax Platform Workflow Tip.